Good morning. Welcome to J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Me? Oh. I had a rough night last night, I could tell you. First off, I came to the conclusion yesterday I decided to quit smoking. The reason being is because I'm 53 years old and I feel that cigarettes has taken a toll on me to a certain extent. I feel I could be looking much, much younger. Um, I do think that I look pretty good right now though, so anyway. But yeah, so I haven't had a cigarette since 5 o'clock yesterday evening. Today it is Saturday. At what time? I couldn't tell you right now. But I'm very proud of myself. Hold on a second, y'all. Just a minute. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I've been praying for it for a lot of years, and especially within this last month, I've really been praying for it. Um, I've been asking God to remove the taste from my mouth, the thought from my mind. Um, it's been, it's, I know it's going to be a hard journey. I've only quit since yesterday, but I have, um, within the year, quit um, for a few months. But then, I don't know what. Oh, sorry, I hold on again for a minute. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, so I did quit for a minute. Um, I don't know why I would make the choice of going back. That's just stupid. You know, that, that lets you know how us humans, our minds work. You know what I'm saying? If you can quit for a whole doggone month and then you choose to go back, that lets you know about choices. We have choices. You know, it's hard to quit cigarettes because you actually have a physical connection to that nicotine. So that's where the problem come in. At. But when you're able to quit like that and then go and then you decide to go back, then um, something ain't working there. But anyway, I was in that category. I was one of them people. This time I choose not to be one of those people. I'm not going back. I, I don't want to go back. I'm going to pray not to go back. And I asked God, I asked God yesterday. I said, Lord Jesus, I've been praying for this for so long. I said, Jesus, I said, I need a way out. I said, I'm tired of looking at a cigarette. I feel like a big cigarette. I'm tired of going places and knowing that I've been uh, scoped out because I smell like a cigarette. I don't want it in my life no more. It's a nasty habit. Okay, women, for ladies, especially, it's a very nasty habit. So, you all pray for me on that. I'm praying for myself. I know that I'm going to do it. God is going to work with me really, really harder this time. Because he's been working with me all the time. It's just been my ignorance. Okay. But anyway, um, God is good. He's good. He's good all the time. I was in the shower this morning. I don't know why I just feel so awkward this morning. Like I can't get nothing right. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I feel good. I tell you that. That I do do. But anyway, um, God is good. He's good. He's good all the time. I was in the shower this morning. And... I got so many places in the house that I, I praise God. I, you know, I just praise Him. All, I praise Him from sun up to sundown. When I'm cooking, cleaning, toileting, <laughs> wherever. Okay, because it's our personal time. I can do that with Him anytime I want to. Anytime I want to. I don't need a pal. I don't need a friend. I don't. I don't need it'd be nice to have but nowadays you can't get a real 
real if you knew what a real real was. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So I was in the shower and I got to thinking about all the, the good stuff that um, that God has been doing for me and the ways he's been blessing me and um, the way he's going to bless me even more and I'm um, looking at how I truly feel and have faith that my life is going to take a turn for um, the bigger and better and I, I'm just so grateful so when I thought about all that goodness all that goodness oh my God, 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 God. But I thought about all that goodness. Let me tell you. It don't take much to make me happy. It don't take much, baby. It don't take much to make me happy. You know what it takes to make me happy is just knowing that I have God love. Just knowing that I have his love. Just knowing that he's going to make it happen for me when I need it. Okay, because he not only loves me, but he loves me enough to see me happy. Okay, like he loves you enough to see you happy. That's if you want it. Okay, if you want it, you can have it. You know, um, man, <laughs> man, I just, I can't stress enough how you're missing out. How people are missing out. You're missing out. You're going to lose. You're going to lose if you think you can run this race alone. You're going to lose if you think you can talk that talk alone. You're going to lose if you think you can figure out that uh, problem you're alone. You're going to lose. Okay. I don't know what mind frame you have. Half of these people are living in nowadays. But you must know that you have to. work for the Lord. You got to do what he wants you to do. And I ain't talking about work for him, for other people. Yeah, he wants you to do that. I do that and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to reach out to people. I'm going to continue to talk to people about God. I'm going to continue to tell him, tell them how good he's been to me, how good he's going to continue to be to me. As long as I obey the rules. As long as I do what he want me to do, a lot of times I don't be wanting to do what he asks me to tell me I got to do. You think I want to be calling up Jean and telling her, uh, Jean, the Lord told me to tell you this, you know, and it's but it's all for the better. When the Spirit tells you to tell someone something, it's best you do it. Because if you don't, it's going to nag at you, and then if you don't, you could possibly regret it. Enough of that. I just want y'all to know I had to break down in the shower this morning, crying. Oh, it feels so good to cry. It feels so good to get it all out. Just get it out. Just get it out. Just get it out. Cry. Cry. Let it out. And I get in there and I get to crying and I get to praising and I get to talking to them and I get to letting them know, Jesus, if it wasn't for you, I couldn't have prevailed. I couldn't have did it. I wouldn't have. I look forward to this day. Sunday. Sunday. I'm not... Y'all, y'all see this? Y'all do this to me every time I get on here. I made me some coffee. Forgot to put my creamer in it. Now y'all gotta hold on for a minute. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Are. 
I don't want y'all to think I done took off on you. I know, you know, and then, you know. Listen. Mama be needing this in the morning. I want everybody to know. That I'm never going to get on here saying nothing that ain't true. Okay. Um, like I said, I was just up getting ready for church. I just wanted to say a few things to everybody. I hope everyone have a blessed day. Don't forget anything I said because it can and will be useful to you one day. Have a blessed day. God is good. God is good. He's good all the time. Stay tuned with J-Love. I love you.